Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Use Squad Stars here with Cambridge United. We're going to start off against Crystal Palace, as you can see right above me. Um, and then we'll be playing Burnley as well in today's episode. Um, two great results um, in yesterday's episode. I do want to apologise because I did say I probably wouldn't see you until after the weekend, thinking that yesterday's episode was Friday, today's Friday. I do apologise. Losing track of what day it is. Most of the time, I don't know what day it is. Like, you know what I mean? I base it on when my girlfriend's at work and not at work and stuff like that. Um, but she took a long weekend, so that kind of threw things off. I think that's what it was. But anyway, <laughs> um, let's get into <laughs> to today's um, video, shall we? Um, yeah, look, uh, Palace look pretty decent side, actually. They've got some pretty decent players in there, so it's not going to be um, easy. Um, Hopefully it's going to be similar to when we like obviously we just play West Ham at their grounds, but I've got a feeling Palace won't be as easy. But we'll see. I didn't even um, notice the weather, and I did say about the rain being coming down in the last episode. We're, we're not getting snow yet, but it looks like we're getting snow um, now um, as we travel to London. So Palace to um, get things off and running. See how things um, fair in the snow. I think it's flurries because it didn't like it was coming down quite heavy. So it's on the snow. And Palace um, straight on us, not letting us uh, get out. Okay, yeah, Palace are not doing what West Ham did, and they are right on us. Um, pressure from the off. Well done, Anthony. Malcolm Mosley. <sighs> what that to go forward? I hate it when it does that. Just plays like a, a weaker pass instead of the one I'm, I'm aiming for. Warren through. Mosley, here is JB3 through the middle. He's got two defenders coming across. He tries to, I tried to pull it back, but I was caught right between the two central defenders there and didn't have much place to go. They were able to whiz around. Like, they must be wearing ice skates or something to be able to whip around the like pitch really fast, whereas we're like treading really carefully. Yeah. Best we're going to get out of this is a draw. Best we're going to get out of this is a draw because I can't get control of the ball. I can't get out of our own half. Um, they're so much faster. They're so much stronger. This is like what you'd expect when we were playing Chelsea. And this is where sometimes it just doesn't make any sense, does it? Ah, oh, the corner's there. And uh, that's in. No, it's not. Come on, use a bit of strength. Turn, turn inside. Here's JB. Play it inside. Right, it's Mosley. Back to JB. Oh, come on. You've got to find... I don't know what is going on with certain players, but their form is terrible at the moment. It really is. Like Certain players just not, not as good as what they have been. Dion's going to stick with the, the same 11. Let's see if, um, if they can... Do something, but I don't know what that's going to be. Elmi inside, Mosley. Oh God, his confidence is shot. I think it's yeah. You know, it's just injuries. I don't know. It's just he is not. He's not there. Really isn't. Anthony does well. God, they, they won't. The constant pressure. I mean, this is what annoys me is the AI is allowed to have constant pressure on, but don't lose any stamina. And they've scored. Um, it, it's it, whereas you put constant pressure on, and your and your stamina massively drops. That to me is like it shouldn't be allowed. That shouldn't be allowed. <sighs> For God's sake, they're just playing like useless. Bloody idiots. Really are. They're so terrible. Why are they so bad? Right, Burns coming on for Jake Warren. Mosley's going to drop back. Battery's going to go into the camera. Old Burns going to go out on the left hand side. And yeah, can we possibly do something? I doubt it. Right, Anthony now. Going to get this through to Battery. He can. How far back has that gone? Elmi. Oh. Tomo. Oh, for sake. See, he's, like, lost, you know, his... 
He's not been playing particularly well. Mosley's not been playing particularly well. Um, I don't know. Maybe uh, it's Australians. They don't like the cold. Maybe that's it. I don't know. It's just certain players. Reese Patrick, another player, not been playing particularly well. It's confidence, isn't it? It's form, I suppose. Anthony. Still Anthony. It's still Anthony. Can he get this through to GB3? I bet he's offside. No, he's onside. Oh, okay. Bollocks. I was waiting for them to say that it was offside. Go and get the ball then. Well done, GB3. Well done, Anthony, for making that run. I mean, GB3's confidence is shot, but that's because he lost, obviously, three overall. But I thought there he was offside, but no. Nicely found from Anthony. Um, and a good finish from GB3. Okay. I think that's our first shot on target. Uh, you know, 70-odd minutes gone. I think we've actually got something in this game. Wow. Oh, he's played well. He's about the only player that has done. Tomo now, get out of your feet. Jesus Christ, what is wrong? Elmi now, through. Here is Musley. What are you going to... Where's he going? Where's he gone? Oh, why have we got a player down? Chance. It's Burn. Wow. Okay, I don't even know what happened there, but we... It was it GB3 or, or whatever. I think we got taken down in the box. I don't know what happened. Yeah, he's pushed over by number five. GB3 pushed to the floor. Referee didn't even give a penalty. In some ways, I'm glad he didn't. Um, Burn not in the, his right position. Is that his first goal for us? I think he might be, actually. Yeah. Decent Burns on the score sheet after coming off the bench. Well, good substitution then from, um, from Dion. Well... Didn't think we were back in this game. I thought it was all done and dusted. I mean, we still probably end up losing 3-2, but here's where they go. Elmi, well done. Oh. Then gives it away. Damn it, I shouldn't have it. I just didn't have pressed anything. Here we go. We got back in the game. Oh, it's on the inside of the post. Marco Musley. And we've got a point. Wow point right with regards to those stats I don't know maybe Padless will be a little bit grieved Anthony getting man of the match for that great run there to pick out JB3 JB3 good to see him scoring um, which will hopefully build his confidence back up could do with Musley and Tomo getting their confidence back up I mean Musley did get an 8 um, did he get an assist he did get an assist alright fair enough he must have set burn up if, anyone, if any of you seen Pest 2020 gameplay compared to this, you know what I mean? It's just in, it's in another, it's in another hemisphere basically. Like I mean, with regards to how good that looks compared to this. And jokingly, I said, didn't I, when we took on Newcastle, when they were like, in like 19th, I think I said, like we don't want them getting their first win against us. We ended up getting a 2-2 there. We just got a 2-2 against Palace. It, it kind of felt like similar game to Newcastle actually, the, the Palace game. Um, but Burnley. Um, is what is up next. Right, so team one will take on um, Burnley here. Uh, as you can see, the weather is foggy. You've not got snow, we've got fog um, at Cambridge. Um, you can probably see why Burnley are, are maybe um, down at the foot of the table, because they are very similar um, stats-wise to, to what we are. Yeah, um, doesn't mean because of their stats that it's gonna be any easier than the game we just played against Palace, so let's just see what we can do. And there you can see just See the fog there um, above the Abbey Stadium. Just thought I'd show you that just as we, before we, we get underway. So Charlie Lawrence will get things off and running here. Let's see what um, Team One can do. Back to Oscan Wood again. Sutton. All right. I thought he was going to head that, but it didn't. He went with some spectacular shots though. He's got Charlie Lawrence through here. And Sean Lawrence has put that in the net. And they didn't get to see their partnership against Chelsea because obviously the sending off of Mpeba and But as you can see, Schutz finds Charlie there. Nicely done and a nice finish. Um, I think if this hadn't gone in, we might have had a penalty because that was um, a late challenge, as you'll see. 
here it takes him out oh, just going off camera there but it'd be interesting to see whether the ref would have given that as a penalty or not and Pepe gets his back on that Garba coming across doing some good defensive work shots now just lays his back to Arnish this is good play from the lads Bear hands inside, Sutton knocks it forward. Here is Lawrence. Can he get this out? He can. Bear hands now. Back to Arnish. Finds Clark. Lays this up. Arnish oh, tries to flick it past Oscan. It didn't, didn't work. Ryder has to go back here. Bear hands. Whip this across. Is it going to get... No, it's going to go over the head of Garbutt. Here's Dennis. Goes long down the line. Clark cuts it out. Here's Schutz. Charlie Lawrence is in again. And this time Johnston gets something on that. Benefiting from his um, plus three <laughs> upgrade, isn't he? Clark now. Through to Charlie Lawrence. Waits for Clark. It's Malcolm Clark. Uh, Good save. Arnus inside. Here's Clark. Flicks it up. Goes for it. Oh, that would have been spectacular. And I think Windell um, has managed to keep that in and got up for a throw in. But it's a nice bit of um, skill there from Malcolm Clark, but just wasn't able to find the top corner. Oh, that was late from Schutz. That's going to be yellow. Yeah, Vidra knocks this out here to Otero, gets the ball back, can we get across, chance to Marsden, get something on that, it's going to be a corner, stops um, the striker getting ahead on it, which is, you know, what you need to be doing, plays it outside, Marsden's not going to get there, Rodolfo is though, can he get this out here, to oh no, he hit Sutton. I was trying to get that out here to Hyder and actually <laughs> hit Sutton, but it's, it's worked out in the end. Here is Bear Hams now, bursting forward. Still going. He's going to have to cut back inside. Still Bear Hams. He's looking to pick someone out. He's getting pushed back here, though. It's fallen to Clark. He's going to hit this, but that surely took a deflection. And Pepper gets that, though. And can he get this off? He can't. How does Eredin surge him forward into the box here? Can he pull it back here? He can. It shuts, turns. Great goal. Well picked out from Haider Zeradine. Well finished. Right on half time, and we're two to the good. Well played. Okay, that young German, he's, he's fitted in really well here. Really has. Haider, though, good vision here. Picks him out. Good turn, quick turn, and yeah, complete and utterly catches out like. I think the defender thought he was going to go the other way and catches out not only the defender but the keeper as well and good finish for him. Wait for Marsden, here he is. Who will get Charlie Lawrence in here. And Lawrence will try and pick this back to Garber and he's trying to keep this alive and it's come to Arnas and Arnas has just buried it. Wow, that was good strength there from Garber. Holds that up. It's good that Arnis hasn't scored a, a banger for a while. Good to see him on the, on the score sheet. And there is Garber with him saying, like, yeah, I pass that to you. <laughs> yeah, it's three. Just his strength here from Garber, just holding off the challenges there, waiting for um, um, the, the eyes, as it were, from Arnis to like, say, like, yeah, pass the ball, like, now, and hits it, cleans your leg in that top corner. Good start to the second half, so there we go. One before half time, one after half time, isn't it? Then Lawrence Garber's going to wait for Marsden. Here he is. Terry Marsden going to surge into the box here. He picks someone out. He's picked out shirts. Oh, straight the keeper this time though. It's Hyder. It. Oh, tried it, didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> Lays it back here. Bear Hams will whip this into the box. It's come to shots. I just didn't catch all of it, but played out. Okay, they're knocking this around well. Marsden gets across from right back there to like get a block in on that. Clark inside. Here's Arnus. 
around the corner, it shuts. It's a great chance. Oh, blocked. Plays it out here to Van Gober. Flicks this up. Oh. Just couldn't get his foot over it to keep it down. Tried to flick it and go on the R folly and bang it in, but not able to. Right, a couple of changes then. Um, Dion's decided to bring Soliano on and um, Harrison Richardson is going also going to come on for Arnes and Clark. They played really well in the midfield. Berhams, oh, it's lovely to play. Inside here, Charlie Lawrence. Shuts. It's come to Richardson and oh, maybe because he's only just come on, wasn't up to it and catches this all wrong. Come on. I'm pressing the button, eventually it's come through. Shuts now, we'll cut back inside. Richardson, Gobert, oh! How has he not put that in? Wow. It hit the, like, crossbar bounce down, it's the foot of the post, comes back out, like. Hyder gets this in, chance for Lawrence, it's going to fall, Richardson, thank you, there we go, number four. Just right place, right time, didn't score early, just after you, after you just come on and sub, but he's, he's warmed into the game here. Keeper got a hand on it, but it just fell nicely, and Richardson says thank you very much, and just taps it into an empty net. And we've been the better side, and it's yeah, you can see why. Like I say, Burnley are, um, are where they are in the league. Richardson around the corner, Schutz lays this in. It's Siliano. He's going to flick this up. He's going to hit this. Oh, that would have been so good. It would have been so good. Maybe if he was a little bit higher rated, he would have pulled that off. Um, but he's only 70 rated, and yeah, it would have been nice. It was a lovely little bit of skill. I tried it, but it didn't work. All right, we don't think it was big. Oh, Charlie Lawrence wins the header, but just not able to pick someone out. It's fallen here to Richardson. Here's Garber. He's got Marsden pushing forward. Still Marsden on the outside. Here is Schutz. It's gone for it, it's going to fall here to hide it, no, Vine, Vindal is there. And it's Garber with the corner. Chance for Lawrence, oh, there it is for his second of the game. Garber gets the assist on the corner and that's number five. Just weren't picking him up. Keeper's got to do better there. Got to do better. Good header from Charlie. Just stoops down. Oh, it's, he gets a hand on it, but instead of like waving your arms around like the stupid animation that EA is giving to you, if you kept him like in front of your face like a normal goalkeeper, you'd have saved that. Well. Such a contrast to the game against Palace. Um, obviously, Palace are not Burnley, um, but yeah, Burnley, I think, um, will be getting relegated if they carry on playing like this. And 5 0, Rodolfo will be pleased with that nil at the end. Dominant performance 19 shots, 10 of them on target, 60% of possession. The home fans will be having a very Merry Christmas. Um, we hope. I mean, we play Bournemouth on Christmas Day, but Christmas Eve is going to be good, isn't it? Because we've just got five goals to nil um, leading into that one. So what a way to, to sort things out. As you can see, the front three, you could maybe include Schutz as the front four, all nines. Um, Lawrence Garber doing really well. And we did assist did Garber get. You got two assists. I think you got a goal, did he? Oh, no, he didn't get a goal. Um, Hyder picked up an assist. Chai Lawrence got two goals, shots with an assist. Else, yeah, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, really good stuff. We're halfway through the season, 19 games played, and we sit in fifth. Well, 
I'd snap your hand off if someone had said that's where the, the you know the table would finish like that. Uh, with us in fifth spot, that is a, a fantastic performance. Um, yeah, I mean, if we can continue the second half of the season with the with the same like you know way, then we're going to be finishing on around about 74 points, which is pretty decent, isn't it? Like you know, um, if we can do that for the second half of the season. Uh, we've scored 42, we can see the 23, uh, which is, yeah, I think that's, that's pretty good, like, you know, it's not it's not as good, obviously, as, as Liverpool, I mean, Liverpool are, have only conceded eight, um, I mean, that's probably to do with, like, you know, the fact that they've got Van Dijk and they've got Alisson, you know what I mean, like, um, that's going to have a huge bearing on it, and oh, we've got Palace again with, um, with Manchester United on Tuesday, interesting, anyway, there we go, block of the dice time. Right then, we will finish the week off with some blues, who knows? Yes, we do! <laughs> At last, we get blue. <laughs> Who's it going to be? Uh, oh, why does it have to be one of those numbers? Oh, God. A little sh... Oh, God. Number nine, okay, so that's, uh, what's 12, 11, 10, nine. It's Tomo, right, okay, Tomo. Um... Are you getting the first or the second lot? You're getting the second lot of scenarios. And what number are you going to be getting? Number three, I believe that is. It is number three. Let's see what you've got, Tomo. Uh, not brilliant for you, Tomo. Um, your family has a... a fa uh, you've, yeah, you have... Uh, I can't even speak. Tomo has a family crisis to deal with, um, and he'll miss the next four matches so unfortunately you're going to be out for the next four games so you will miss the liverpool game i'm afraid and you'll miss even if you were available for the man united one but you probably wouldn't have been um but yeah you're going to miss the liverpool um match i'm afraid tomo that's just unfortunate the way that that's like um, sort of like landed um please check out talking of tomo check him out down with um patrick garver and also um marco muzzy as the patrons also check out fifer's channel as well because obviously he's the guy that um, made the realism mod and um yeah i will um because i catch you on monday um sorry if i was maybe a little bit grumpy regarding the palace game i just it just was like one of those annoying games like which um still are in this game um, you just can't get rid of them Unfortunately, so I have to just like grin and bear them um, and just deal with the best if you can. We still got a, a point from it, so that's something, isn't it? Like, I mean, um, in the end, and yeah, um, we'll shut up, rabbit in, and uh, catch you next time. Stay from Moomongo Gaming, signing off. Cheers.